IBC 2013 talking to Jason Levine, Principal Worldwide Evangelist for Creative Cloud. Jason, I understand you just got back from the Create Now World Tour. Uh, tell us, wh what exactly is that? Well, so um, it was a world tour that took us to around, uh, it, keeps, it, it grew over time, but myself and several of my colleagues visited about 20 different cities across Europe and Asia, uh, spoke to over 12,000 people, and talked to them directly about all the things that are in Creative Cloud, whether it's their favorite applications, some of our new services, and things like Behance, or how to use storage, how to create iPad apps, and basically all the elements of Creative Cloud, show them, teach them, train them, inspire them, and inspire them to want to work together and leverage all the collaborative capabilities of Adobe Creative Cloud as it is today. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, and what were people's reactions? What did they think? I mean, the reactions were amazing. Uh, you know, we initially were, I, I think, wondering how people would take to a, a membership subscription type model. But what they realized is, as we discussed the realities of Creative Cloud, being agile, being able to deliver uh, new features when they're ready, so the box experience is gone, now we, we've got new stuff coming, we're showing stuff here, which is coming to the cloud. And we had updates in July for Premiere, we have so, we've, you know, 150 updates this time around. Um, once people really got that, it, it made complete sense. And on top of that, it also showcases that we're listening. You know, we're here, we're, right. we're, we're, we're listening to what they're asking for, we're developing, we're staying current, we're staying on top of things, particularly in the video business where every week it seems like there's a new camera, a new codec, and we have to support that, and we have to typically support them natively. So um, it was extremely well received, and you know, it's funny, not just the applications, but a lot of the other elements of Creative Cloud, like Typekit, uh, and I mentioned Behance. Uh, these things really spoke to a lot of our users, and it also allowed us uh, for the first time to see just how many people were already using Typekit Behance and were right. already kind of sort of part of these huge creative communities around the world. Oh, that's great. So now the current tour just ended. Uh, is there going to be another one coming up? Interestingly enough, we have uh, a week from yesterday, so six days from now, we've got Create Now San Francisco. So we'll be showcasing, again, all new workflows. That's right. I can go to that one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so uh, all new workflows, all, all new uh, different uh, features in Photoshop, again, in Premiere, and After Effects, and Prelude, and Speedgrade. Um, all the web tools, Edge Reflow, Edge Animate, um, and just really showcase all the things that Creative Cloud has to offer to a really um, uh, a diverse creative audience. And uh, we'll be taking it to several other cities across the UN, Can US and Canada over the next couple of months. Okay, great. Uh, if people want to learn more, is there somewhere they can go? Yeah, so they can go to the Adobe Creative Cloud Facebook page, and I believe we've got uh, links there to actually register for the events. They can see all the various events in the various cities. Currently, right now, I think we've got 10 or 12 that are already scheduled, so you can register now. There's more TBDs like New York City and several others coming towards the end of the year, and it's really going to be great. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to us, and thanks for watching.